My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 31,000 actual mile 1966 Dodge Cornette 500. Yes, Cornette 500, just like the emblem says. Just came in, the car's outstanding. I drove it home last night. It's a sweetheart. It just drives like new. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this low mile beauty. I don't have all the specs. I literally just walked into this one. We got the car a day or two ago. Uh, I drove it home last night. I know it drove really well, uh, but go to the website. Maybe I'll have some more information, some more details about the history and that sort of thing. Uh, but as far as uh, the 31,000 miles, I am absolutely convinced I'm a believer. It just feels and functions like a low mile car uh, should. Uh, first of all, the body is absolutely mint. Everything fits spot on, it's absolutely straight. I have not noticed any bubbles all along the bottoms, all clean metal. There's a dent right here and there are imperfections in the paint. I tell you what, I drove this car around. I even took it to the T-Mobile yesterday to get a new phone. And uh, out in the sun, it just looks beautiful. Now that I'm in here under these lights and I'm looking at it you know, more critically, uh, there are little nicks and chips in the paint, um, but it shows really well. Obviously, it's super glossy. It looks like I can reach right in there. And there's like a little chip here, but this is smooth. That door fits flush. There's no bubbles. Clean, clean body on this car. The paint shows great. I don't know if it's original paint or not. I, I couldn't see uh, you know, any tape lines or anything like that. It could very well be the original paint. The trim on the car is real nice. You know, all original, the chrome and the bumpers. There's bumper guards here. This is all in very nice shape. And yes, there are a number of chips and touch-ups, so it could be the original paint on the car. It has the Magnum style wheels. Those might have been added. This car probably would have had hubcaps originally. Uh, the moldings are nice, the emblems, all the stainless, the rubber gaskets, all nice. I said, look at the gaps. The door shuts like a new car. The interior is amazing. It's actually a bucket seat console car. The console looks like brand new. I've not seen one where the chrome is that shiny. It's not pitted. Uh, all the upholstery is mint, has deluxe seat belts. Uh, they did put embroidered floor mats in there. But look at all this, how it's just an excellent shape. Something real cool in the trunk. Under the mat is the original spare tire. Still has the ink stamps on the uh, tread. The original spare has never been out. It's the original rubber mat. It is brittle. You have to be very careful picking it up. There's some cracks in it. Uh, comes with an assembly manual, and for some reason there's a green suitcase too. The interior, like I said, is mint. The dash area is mint. Another surprise I had was the radio. Looks like this old AM radio. I wasn't even going to try it. I turn it on. It it's, must be converted to FM because it plays FM uh, music, and it sounds awesome. Front and rear speaker, and there's a speaker control under the dash. I, I would have bet there was a subwoofer in the trunk. It just it was full. It just sounded really nice. So a really nice sounding uh, FM radio. All the interior lights works. I'm noticing on the sail panels and on the console they worked. So it's a 318 motor. You'll hear it in a second. If you can hear it, it runs that quiet, that smooth. Uh, the engine bay is really clean, original, proper. Uh, the VIN number is stamped here on the core support. It has the original fender tag in place. It is power steering. 
but the alternator, the washer bottle, the battery, hold down bracket, everything is just really nice. Underneath the car is rock solid, all clean metal. Um, you know, the inner rockers, the drain plugs are all still there. I think I've seen some original paint markings from the assembly line on the transmission. Uh, it's an automatic, uh, still has single exhaust. Looks like the front shocks were replaced. Brake hoses look like they were new. And start it up for you. That's just smooth as they get. And like I said, I drove the car, it rode, and just felt really nice, like a low mile car does. They don't have all the rattles and quirkiness that restored cars or higher mileage cars have. Yeah, the hood insulation's real nice. Everything on the firewall, the wiring, the wiper motor, all the components are in really nice shape. Everything fits square and flush. Purrs like a kitten. This tail panel in the back is original. There's some pitting on the tail panel. Smooth. So I drove this car around yesterday and uh, very happy with it. Even one of the guys from the shop made a comment right before I started the video. What a nice car it is. Uh, it's called Dark Green Poly. Got the white painted roof. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can uh, reach out to our sales staff. I gave you my impression of the car. If you have any questions or concerns or want more details, they can help you with all that. So ask whatever questions you have. They can also help with financing and delivery. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.